Hey, what's up everyone? Legend coming at you from SeaWorld Orlando. Gonna go check out the latest construction on Icebreaker, the new roller coaster. Let's go see how that's going along. And here we are at the Icebreaker construction site. A lot has changed since the last time I did one of these update videos. And uh, the ride's starting to look good. Obviously the biggest progress has been made over here as they have started to build that top hat element. Probably the, the portion of the ride I'm most excited for. You see lots more supports have gone up. Cool shot there of uh, the train where it's gonna come back from playing behind Bayside Stadium there. A bunny hill. See the final brake run over there. Of course the spike was done last time we were here. And then you can also see they have started building the station. So this ride, it's making a lot of progress. And then one more look at the top hat. Let's see uh, where else in the park we get views of this thing. One more view of the top hat element here and you can kind of figure out where the train's gonna go. So it's gonna come off this guy here and then track up these supports before it's kind of top heading there and then things that are, I'm guessing are not done yet. Another view of the top hat construction. As you can tell, it looks like it's gonna be much more of a gentle top hat. I know most people think of top hat, they think of like Accelerator or Top Turtle Dragster or King Ka. This looks like it's gonna be uh, much more family friendly, but still fun. Closer to Shamu Stadium, we get a, uh, another view. I'll see a good shot of the spike there, that's all done. Station's kinda of hidden behind the trees. Over here you can see the station from this side. Some of the area around Mango Joe's. Gotta imagine though, that old dining area is probably gonna be Q now. A little bit of recycling there. All right, here's the view from the Sky Tower, right? As the cabin rotates, you'll see Mako, Orlando's tallest, fastest, and longest Good shot, like some what's going to go on behind the uh, 200 foot tall tall stadium, hyper right? coaster. Mako is named for one of the ocean's fastest known sharks and reaches top speeds of 73. All right, so am I crazy or did Mako get a new sign? I think it used to be like a small sign over there, and now it's got this giant sign sort of leading everyone to the lockers. Like, I'm not crazy, right? Right? So I haven't been over to the Sesame Street land side of the park since it's been Christmas time. And oh my gosh, I love these giant cartoony nutcrackers. I saw some. That is, uh, those are awesome. And the other side has more. You've got Bert and Ernie. And he's got a rubber ducky. And the rubber ducky is wearing a fun hat. So big fan of the dining plan here at SeaWorld. Today's lunch, we're grabbing a Hawaiian grilled cheese with like beef and bacon and sauce in there from uh, over here in the, the Sesame Street area. 